If you are dealing with any type of cystic activity anywhere in any organ or gland in your body, particularly the breast tissue, your ovaries, if you maybe are dealing with a fatty liver or elevated liver enzymes or toxicity, as well as swelling, fluid retention, lymphatic disorders, and conditions like lymphedema, I am so excited to share with you how to use castor oil to motivate your lymphatics, help your organs and glands detoxify, get your body back to balance, and how to blast away cysts and pesky fibroids. I'm gonna share with you the protocol that I use personally, professionally in my clinic life with my patients, and how you can do a DIY castor oil therapy in your own home. And let's kick off this video with my DIY castor oil pack therapy. Here is my setup here in my bedroom. I'm gonna kind of detail everything that I get gathered up and ready for my hour long castor oil packing session. The most important aspect is to get your liquids. Your hydration levels are gonna be key during your castor oil packing, I find I always get dehydrated or at least feel thirsty. I love drinking dandelion tea. So my little cat mug has dandelion tea that's been brewed and seeped for about five minutes. And then I am absolutely in love with the kettle and fire their miso soup. This is a really wonderful chicken bone broth that has a little bit of a Japanese kind of flavoring to it. So that I've got queued up. Let me take you through the steps of what you want to gather. The most important things, you want to have your protective liners. I just use pet training pads. We have a ton because I have a senior cat and we're always laying these down near his litter box. These are extra large, so I grabbed two just to make sure I cover that whole entire space down there. Then you want your heating pad. This, I will provide a link up above where I purchased that from Aldi. This is a five minute heat up process for this thing and it is blazing hot and it'll stay hot for six full hours. So that's one of the major things when you're doing castor oil packing. I have this kitchen cloth, which I will put on my body below this because this would literally burn my skin and melt the plastic wrap that you will see I use for the castor oil. And then we have the castor oil. If you guys watched my TJ Maxx video, that's where I got that. A glass bowl, this is our key container for the castor oil. This is going to be my used cloth that I'm going to cut with those scissors. Cling or plastic wrap to wrap uh, the castor oil pack, keep it contained on my body. And this is the coup de ta. I love Happy Breast Balm. I use this for when I'm packing breasts and my uterus, my ovaries, and even my liver. So this has uh, some really core ingredients. I've talked to, about this at length, but I'll include a link where you can buy that and actually a lot of these items down below. And then because we're castor oil packing for a while, I have some reading materials. I have a journal because I always get great business ideas, personal ideas, so I always want to have a journal with pen. And then snack options. Today I'm feeling like a banana and the hippies. If you guys haven't eaten those, those are awesome. They're little these vegan chickpea puffs. And then I have my dark chocolate, chocolate covered raisin. I'm using my um, weighted blanket as the pillow. I always have this as my knee pillow because you're going to want to be in a comfortable position. This is my neck pack. So I'm going to put right there. This is gunky looking. I don't use the cover anymore, but this has been heated, so that's warm. And then because it's winter time, I'm going to be wearing my robe. So let's cut up our white cloth there. I'm going to show you how to get started with the castor oil pack. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be castor oil packing basically my whole entire abdomen. My goal is to target my liver which is about from here to the side, and then my ovaries and uterus. So I'm going to basically fit and cut this old cloth that I have, and that's what you wanna do. You wanna have an old cloth. So I'm gonna measure it just kind of on the side, and really I'm gonna go right below my breast. Now if I do my breast, I actually have different measurements for that, but essentially whatever area you wanna measure, you just wanna cut to fit because castor oil packing can get gunky and it's really key that you 
uh, measure appropriately. Casserole oil packing can get really messy. So I'm just gonna cut this. And then, so basically from here to here. Okay, and then I want it over here about hip length. So to here. And so I'm gonna cut this in total. And I, I'm really excited to share this video with you because I've had so many people ask me about castor oil packing. I've mentioned it a lot. Um, and I personally have used this in my life to heal and combat an assortment of things, fibroids and cysts, breast tissue, ovaries, uh, my uterus. At one point I had been recommended to have surgery because I had a uterine polyp. Also had, two, I think a fibroid or two in my uterus. The um, irony is that that particular surgery, they had a date scheduled that I was never going to fulfill, but I just entertained my OBGYN. And that um, the irony is that like around that same time or maybe a few weeks later, I actually conceived Gabriel. So haha -ha to the medical world. I didn't, I didn't need your surgery because I was doing casserole packing. So this is going to be my, my little pack and I, I might um, adjust this a little bit more. I want to make sure sometimes I'll fold down my pack, but this essentially is what I'm going to be using. I have my castor oil pack here that I measured and I have my castor oil that we're going to add to this. So what I want to do is open up my castor oil and I first am going to apply a liberal amount of oil to the bottom. And we use glass because castor oil is extremely molecular dense and the molecular density of the oil, let's push this in, the molecular density of the oil can actually get through plastic, which is not good. And I just want to just be very liberal with your castor oil. And basically what you want to do is you want to really have this rag fully soak up the castor oil. It takes several minutes to kind of get this prepped. It takes a few minutes to get this fully soaked and saturated. Saturated is really the best kind of description. You want it so that you have oil that is going to get on your skin, will definitely penetrate through your skin layers because that's what castor oil does. I actually love the Heritage Stone product. It's the uh, cold pressed version and um, I've been using them for years. Okay, so there's a few spots. You just wanna make sure you don't have any dry spots of towel. And this gets soaked right on in. And it goes without saying, you wanna use a clean towel, a towel that um, doesn't matter if it gets ruined by the castor oil. These cloths can be reused, so you can actually store this after your packing experience in your refrigerator in this container. That's why we use glass. That's why um, it's important to fully soak this and then you just end up adding a little bit more to this. So. And this looks pretty well soaked through. Just add a little bit more just for measure. In my book, you can't have too much castor oil. Um, and the good news is this is going to soak right on in through your skin. Okay, so your hands are kind of messy before you wash your hands. I have some stuff left over on my hands and I just wipe my eyebrows and my eyelashes. 
with what's left over because castor oil is fantastic for enhancing hair growth and sometimes I'll hit my scalp too. Okay, I'm gonna show you my setup here. So first we're gonna lay out, put my scissors down. I'm gonna lay out these little pet pads. These are actually considered medical checks uh, if you are in the medical industry, but they're excellent because they have plastic on one side and they've got quite absorbable uh, material on the other. So this is excellent because sometimes with castor oil packing, you can get seepage. And so I just tuck this under here, but I got a double layer of protection right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put my pack right there. I forgot to mention, they definitely wanna have some sort of wipe that you can use to kind of get the oil off your hands. So you might not be able to see my entire face during my packing process, but I just wanna show you how you get the pack on your body and how you get it to be stabilized because this is the key, key aspects. Because I am packing my liver, which is over here, and my ovaries and uterus, I'm gonna be pulling down my pants and kind of tucking down these like little gym shorts that I used during my pregnancy. So I'm gonna share with you how I do this and you'll probably see a very sped up version of that. So I'm on my bed. Okay. So now I'm gonna bring my plastic. So basically you are going to be creating a little bit of like a burrito with your plastic wrap. So this secures the wrap to your body and make sure this oil is really gunky. And so it can get pretty messy. It's the only kind of way that I figured out how to um, get this stabilized in a way that you can utilize this for a full hour. It is something I've perfected, but I just, I wanna share with you how I do it. So, I literally am going to give myself a wrap. So you're gonna get <laughs> a nice ab workout all the while. And you, you can see I've got, I've got, I'm nice and cocooned in. Got everything covered. And I'm just gonna snip it. Okay, now, this heat pack. The heat pack is one of the most important aspects because heat is what's going to drive that into here. As time goes by, because this is really hot, I might get to a stage where I actually have this right on the plastic, but I don't want it to um, burn or melt the plastic. That would defeat the whole purpose. So I just put that right over this whole area Okay, and, and then I'll tuck this in so that I've got more layers of protection here from my clothing. And we'll just move this plastic wrap off to the side. And a lot of times when you're touching this towel, it'll take a lot of the castor oil off, but I'm gonna use my wipes that I got from TJ Maxx just to gently wipe my hands so that I can do my reading and journaling without getting all gunky. So I'm gonna get really comfy. I can kind of, I'm gonna put my robe. You guys remember this robe? This is my Aldi robe. I freaking love this thing. <laughs> so it's got really nice kind of comfy, um, soft, thick, almost like blankety-like um, texture. 
So it's still cold here in Atlanta. And so I just want to be comfortable and position my little neck heater in a way that's comfortable. And so for the next hour, this is castor oil packing. I love to use this hour as a self-care time. It's not uncommon that I will have kind of prepared a facial mask or some sort of facial treatment. Sometimes I'll do a hand treatment, but this is your time to heal and to maximize the impact that castor oil is going to have on your body. Some of the things to expect, like I, I get thirsty and like I'm starting to feel thirsty already. Amazing benefits of castor oil is really in this process. So for a full hour, you are heating up this highly dense, molecular dense oil from the rapeseed that literally passes through the dermal layer. And why I love this so much is my lymphatic patients, if you're dealing with any type of swelling, it can reduce swelling. Because of that, you're getting inflammation reduction. How I have personally used it has been to combat cysts from my PCOS on my ovaries. I've used it to heal my uterus. And seriously, when I mentioned before that I literally had a surgical date that the doctor had picked out to go in and resolve a uterine polyp, a uterine fibroid, I use this therapy every day. And I taught, I'm literally, I did this for months. This is so beneficial. Same with breast tissue. So you can literally get your cellular, dense, thick, toxic breast tissue detoxing by doing castor oil packing. I'm going to take a little sip of my dandelion tea and get kicked off with my healing. And if you notice, I don't have my cell phone. I use this as a cell phone free time to decompress and just relax and be in quiet space and just let my thoughts kind of focus on my healing and really utilize this as a time that's just mine. If you're a mom, a caregiver, you're really busy with your workspace, this is really crucial time. Healing also needs space. It needs mental space. It needs physical energy. One of the reasons why I don't have my phone, I'm giving myself space, technology space, time to just focus my thoughts to align with my body healing. I know this might sound a little woo-woo for a lot of you folks, but I really do believe that when we hone in to ourselves and really put forth mental thoughts to the healing process and just allow the body to do what it's meant to do, we get some great results. So I'm gonna do my castor oil packing and get in my zone. Well, friends, I'm officially done. I'm gonna go ahead and get unwrapped, get cleaned up. Thanks for watching my video. If this was helpful, I hope you will tell me specifically 
what area organ gland or problem spot in your body you're going to be targeting by doing a castor oil pack therapy in your home environment i'm going to encourage you to check out the link below and right up there where you can grab my free castor oil pack therapy diy step-by-step -step process it includes how to set up and it includes also how to clean up after you've done a pack on your body as well as some key storage tips. This is really key because we want to do castor oil pack therapy more frequently. That's how you're going to get your max benefit. I'm so excited that you could join me today and I look forward to seeing you on our next video.